Hi guys. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Virtue Mart. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, Joomla e-commerce edition, which is Joomla bundled with Virtue Mart. Now, Joomla is the content management system, and Virtue Mart is a component to Joomla, which will allow you to sell physical products or digital products. In our case, we're going to be focusing on specifically digital products. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to virtuemart.net and uh, download Joomla e-commerce edition. In my, um, I've already downloaded this file and uploaded it to my web server locally and so this this is what you would see once you download the files and install them on your web host. So this is the installation screen. The first thing that you'll notice is that the configuration.php file is unwritable. Now this is where all the information that you put in into this interface is going to be saved. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and log into your web host if you have SSH or terminal access and you want to type in For this. You want to type in touch configuration.php. All that does is just create some blank file called configuration.php in your root installation directory. Uh, if you don't have SSH or terminal access, you just want to create a blank file called configuration.php and then upload it through FTP into your web host. So that will create the file. Uh, the next thing is it's still going to be unwritable because we didn't set the correct permissions on it. Uh, the permissions that you want to set on on this particular file is 777, so chmod or change mod to 777, which means read, write, and execute for everybody, and the name of the file. So now that should make it writable, and if we click refresh, you'll see now that the file is writable. Um, the next kind of quirky part is that directories are unwritable by default and uh, in order for the installation to go through correctly or to work at all you have to make all these uh, directories writable so um, you would, again you would change mod to 777 for all these all these directories so basically for each one of these directories you want to make it you want to make it so they're all writable so I'm going to go ahead and execute this uh, once I click refresh you'll see now that they're all writable and we can move on to the next screen